going to the right. God damn! Oh, nah. Oh, I forgot this is a jump shot video. My bad, y'all. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And today, I'm gonna show you guys a couple different jump shots that will work for your build, your three point rating, and your play style. But not only that, I'm gonna be showing gameplay of these jump shots so I can teach you guys how to time these jump shots and how to use these jump shots correctly. So all I ask is to drop a like on the today's video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and let's get it straight into it. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a couple jump shots to start this video. Now, as you can see, I'm actually on my 6-8 two-way hero build if you guys want the build the build will be linked in the description but here are some of its stats it has a 78 three-pointer and an 84 mid-range so i'm going to give you the jump shot i use for builds like this and builds that don't reach that 84 mid-range threshold and are like you know lower three-pointers 76 78 and lower this is also the build you're going to be seeing the gameplay of the jump shot i'm about to show you guys and as you can see in season three i am shooting 70 percent from three which is a 78 three-pointer and we have a 98 win percent and yes i only have bronze and silver shooting badges outside of like gold midi magician so let's go ahead load up the animations and yes the jump shot i have on is called prince and that's because the base is tayshawn prince yes this is money this is the jump shot i use for my waders on this build this is just jump shot i use on my iso builds my um builds with low three pointer so yes this jump shot can work on iso builds with like a 78 80 three pointer or builds with an 84 mid-range it can work on lockdowns that are spotting up it can work for centers that are you know popping or sitting in the corner any spot up build or any kind of iso build or any build with like a lower three pointer corner like 82 84 you know around there or 78 with a high midi this is the jump shot for you okay so you want to go torian prince base it is money okay very good now i do use push for this if you guys want to learn more about the controller settings and what to use for the visual cue i'll put the how to shoot video link in the description go check out that video but release one is going to be oscar robertson uh this is one of the best releases of the game and the easiest releases at the time and release two is going to be troy brown jr and the blending for you guys that you guys are going to want to do is 66 percent troy brown jr and 34 percent oscar robertson now, as you can see you need at least an 84 three-pointer 84 mid-range to get this so obviously if you have lower than that we're going to give you guys a different jump shot but you could get away with like this same jump shot with a lower rating and to do that you gotta have to mess around with the percentages for oscar and troy brown jr and you might be able to get away with something but otherwise another jump shot you guys can go with is jt thor base jt thor is a jump shot that i was using for the first couple seasons until i switched the torian prince especially on builds like this uh you go release one oscar and release two sadiq bay now there's a lot of different blending options you can go with specifically for this jump shot i went 96 oscar four percent sadiq bay and the only reason i did that is because i could get away with more of oscar but the more percentage points you put towards sadiq bay the less of the rating you need for this jump shot so you could go all the way to like 75 sadiq bay um or even higher and you can get this jump shot with just like a 76 three-pointer or 76 mid-range anyways let's show you guys some gameplay of this jump shot what this jump shot is capable of and how to really shoot with it before we move on to the next jump shot for y'all higher three-point builds so here's a full gameplay right here then we're going to go over clips and how to time the jump shot so yes this is my two-way hero build link will be in the description if you guys want to see the build video first shot we're shooting a little midi fade get the green machine going this jump shot works for fades spin fades standing shots all catch and shoot shots whatever you'd like second shot we get a nice midi fade once again and i'm gonna show you guys the stats at the end so you guys can see my percentage as well because i shoot very high percentages on this jump shot okay y'all see i shoot 70 percent from three with a 78 three pointer right here we get a little trey young over to the right on the top of the key easy green now it's seven to four now we have heat check and of course i get ripped y'all know it's 2k24 it is what it is we get it right back though easy wide open green now it's 10 to four still shooting 100 percent from three 10 to 6 we're gonna go ahead and speed boost to the left dude this dude is spamming this game by the way he fouls again right there uh i get he reaches again gets the steal i get it right back a little taste of his own medicine right there 
Little ISO AI step back into the Magic Cross. Trey Young back. Another step back. And that's a green. 13 to 6. So we're still shooting 100%. This jump shot is very easy to time. Once I show you how to time it, we drive to the basket right back up to the three. And that's another green. Look at those are wide opens too. Like he's getting the hand up a late contest. It doesn't matter. This jump shot's very fast. It has an A plus B. Look at I'm shooting over those two. I'm shooting contested with takeover. Yes, this jump shot can shoot contested with takeover. It can fade. It could literally do whatever you want it to do. As long as you learn how to time the jump shot. You're going to be chicken with it. You're going to be shooting very good, okay? Get the ball back 19 to 8. And then this dude just started fouling. And then he fouls out. You see, I'm 5 for 5 from 3. 7 for 8 that game. Anyways, let's get into some clips. And this is just the last couple days of me playing with this jump shot. I've been using this jump shot for a while now. This is the jump shot I use for wagers. I have a 98 win percent with this jump shot. Also, recently on my streams, by the way, make sure you turn on notifications so you watch me play with this jump shot live. I went on a 71 game win streak to start season 3 with this jump shot and this build so we do be going crazy with it you can shoot hot bag jumpers with it fade on the left side the right side i do use pro 2 fade so if you want the fade animation that i use pro 2 we're sp shooting spin jumpers in crab animations i mean you can shoot on a dime with it and once again this is a very very good jump shot for spot ups so if you're a lockdown a center and you're kind of just like a catch and shoot guy this jump shot is perfect for that as well. My center that I play with actually uses the same jump shot. So it works for him as well. And you see, we're just greening up. Like we're, we're shooting very well with it. These are just some season three clips, but we're going to get into detail on how to time this shot. And if you guys want a full explanation on how to shoot and how to time these shots outside of what I'm about to tell you right now, how I time the shot, then make sure to go watch the how to shoot video. I'm going to put it up on the screen. I'm going to put the link in the description. That will help you tremendously if this video doesn't help you enough, because obviously I'm going to give you all the jump shots in this video, but at the end of the day, if you want the jump shot to work to its best, you know, its full extent, its full potential, then you're going to need to learn how to use the jump shot, right? You know, even I can give anybody a good jump shot, right? Doesn't mean they're going to use it correctly, okay? But anyways, let's get into it. So we're going to start with a random spot up shot, aka a standstill shot, whatever. And as you can see, as I rise up, this is the jump shot in slow-mo. So when I release the ball and I'm on visual cue push, now, once again, watch the how to shoot video if you want to learn what the visual cues mean, which one you should choose and how to time which ones. But I'm on push. So when I time this jump shot, I am releasing my button. By the way, yes, shoot with your button as soon as the ball reaches its highest point in the jump shot. So right here, I am releasing the ball as soon as it reaches its highest point in the jump shot. That is when I release the shot right before my player starts pushing it now the same thing on this section jump shot we're shooting kind of like a what a lot of competitive 2k players call a back fade and as soon as it reaches its highest point right be the the millisecond before i start to push the ball that's when i release the jump shot right here we're fading to our off hand on the right side and once again as soon as the ball gets to its highest point vertically in the jump shot animation right here i am releasing the ball and once again for a fourth time i'm really i'm fading to the left right here to my left hand and as soon as the ball get, reaches its highest extent in the animation, I am releasing the ball. So once again, go watch the how to shoot video if you want to learn which visual cue you should choose and how to time each visual cue. But anyways, let's move on to the jump shot I would recommend for all of my higher three-point builds. Now, this is my 6-6 six, six, two-way three-point shot hunter build. Now, this build is one of the builds that I use my other jump shot on that I'm about to show you guys that is very good for any high three-point rating build. Now, as you can see, here are the build stats. It is 6-6. Six, six. It gets a 92 three-pointer, 84 mid-range. And to be honest, any build that gets like an 87 mid-range or three-pointer or higher can use this jump shot. And if you do have an 87 three-pointer mid-range or higher, I would recommend this jump shot only. Like, don't use any other jump shot. <laughs> use this one because this jump shot is genuinely crazy. So as you can see, the jump shot is called T-Mac. And that's because the base is Tracy McGrady. And honestly, the best players in the world, not even just me, use this jump shot. It's a very popular jump shot in the comp community in 2k24 so yeah you're gonna want to go with tracy mcgrady base then you're gonna want to go with oscar robertson release one and then sadiq bay release two 60 percent oscar 40 percent uh sadiq bay now the great thing about this jump shot is not only is it a super fast jump shot 
but the, I swear this jump shot's glitched. Like, it's very hard to contest. It is very easy to time, and overall, it, it has to be the best jump shot in 2K24. So let's go ahead and get into some gameplay and clips with this jump shot. So this is gameplay of my six foot six two-way three-point shot hunter using the Tracy McGrady base jump shot. And let me tell you, not only is this jump shot just super easy to time, but like I said, it's hard to contest. And not only that, when people do contest it, I feel like my green window is bigger even like compared to when I, if I was contested with a different jump shot, or it's just easier to green with this jump shot even when I'm contested, okay? It's a fluid jump shot, easy to time, like I said. I mean, you guys see me going crazy in the clips. I have a 92 three-pointer. I have Tracy McGrady base on, yes, sir shooting fades i was shooting from half court i was shooting contested i mean these dudes could not guard me you see look at the stats watch when i pull up the stats seven for seven this game yeah look when i pull up the stats you're gonna see it look at seven for seven eight for eight this is just in random 3v3s and i'm going crazy like that with this jump shot i mean wow not missing Okay, now obviously, yeah, we're gonna miss sometimes, but that game, we did not miss. Shooting fades, you're gonna start seeing some contestants going. Now, once again, just because you put on this jump shot isn't gonna mean you're going to be the greatest all of a sudden. Like, you have to know how to time the shot. You have to have the right visual cue setting and controller settings on. So once again, go watch the how to shoot video, okay? But I'm gonna teach you guys how to time this shot anyways. So on, you know, the, the same visual cue. We're on push. You see me shooting step backs. You can shoot hop jumpers. Look at me. Now I'm starting to shoot a little deeper. We got takeover. Look at little spin shot. I mean, bro, this jump shot is amazing. It, trust me. If you already have a good jump shot or maybe you like the other jump shot, at least just try Tracy McGrady because it is genuinely insane. We're shooting from behind half core as well. You already know the deal, okay? It, it, we shoot over three people like look at that was an open i don't know how now once again same thing with the last jump shot as soon as the jump shot gets to its highest point vertically in the jump shot that's when you release it so as soon as he's like about to push it as soon as he gets it into that pocket like it's literally in a pocket with his t-mag base that's when you release your button and shoot it same thing right here as soon as it gets into that pocket right about when he flicks it that's when you release it and it's gonna be great now if these jump shots helped you out at all make sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button and obviously there are some other factors that go into shooting well on 2k24 and that's why i recommend you watch the video on your screen how to shoot breaking down all the settings tips tricks that i know about shooting in 2k24 that video will help you out a lot i have gotten a lot of good feedback from it so go check it out